Bibulus whipped him. Not bad. Did we get many men back? Not really. We got some hoplites back though, but they are slowly being ground down. Eventually there won't be enough of them to actually fight. There's only 66 of them left after that, so... But if they attack us on the same bridge again, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Okay, rebels. A suitable husband betrothed to Sempronia. A good commander, an obsessional trainer, publicly loyal. He's good at commanding, so I'll take him. Where is he? He's in Rome. Oh, that's perfect. User, congratulations, you're now in charge. Combining troops. Beautiful. Enemy army routes. Most advanced faction. Faction announcements. Obvious Junius Brutus got married. A couple of people got stuff. Construction of things was completed, which should earn us more money, which will be better for us. Oh yeah, I forgot. Did I actually order any barracks to be built at Palma? I don't think I did. No, I did not. I must remedy this. But first we'll build the temples, just to make sure that they're all happy, because they're, they're pretty chuffed with us now, but, you know, they might not be soon enough. So we got some more soldiers. Ratiaria completed some Thracian infantry. Rhodes completed another Byrim. That's good, 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 good. Just quick save. And let's have a look and see what our friends, the Seleucids, etc. have done. Not all that much. They've placed Anaximander behind the lines. But that's actually not a big deal. We, we don't need to worry about him too much. He's just hanging out playing Nintendo at, the po at this point, so... It's not a big deal at all. You, can you get inside? You can get inside, perfect. Picta, I need you to go crush this son of a bitch. I do, I do, I do. He's got Persian Phalanx pikemen, a lot of them. He's got Pezoi. He hasn't got any archery units, though, which is good. So we'll move Picta up here, and then we'll trade. He's got one, two, three. Yeah, we'll trade this unit for... Actually, can we get any? No. Yeah, we'll trade this unit in. So now he's got three units of slingers, one unit of archers. He's got two units of cavalry, plus he's obviously got these fellows. Oh, that's Opius Junius Brutus. Did he just get married? Ah, oh, lucky Opius Junius Brutus. Lucky. Uh, you're a former legate, and you've got nine years of military service. I wonder if that means he'll be up next turn for the legate promotion or not. Possibly. You are doing something awfully foolish. I'm just going to leave you there, because those rebels are going to kick your ass in a minute. Oh god, what's this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This could be a problem. This, this, this is something that I should be concerned about. Yep, yes it is. But I think if we put this fellow up here with Drusus, we should be okay think. I hope that's, that's a problem. That is definitely a problem. Okay, you guys are all in good spots. Kind of need you to go do stuff. You can get some more cavalry, which is nice, and you can get some of these guys. Give these guys to Cornelius, if I can. They're both Cornelius. They are! There's two Captain Corneliuses. Captain Cornelii? Alright, I'm gonna pull him back just a tiny bit. And what can you actually get? You can get some more cavalry and some Galatian slingers. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this unit out. And I'll hire you. Move you across. Hi, you. Move you across. Hi, you. Move you across. Keep you. Okay. Okay, that's... That's better than what we had before. Definitely better than what we had before. I'd love to move Harris the Victor off, but I can't. 
until we deal with these armies. But if they are looking to be moving back this way and around this area, I might be able to get Pictor over there next turn, depending on how soundly he thrashes this son of a bitch. But Fraps is being a little bit wonky. Yeah, looks like it's evening out a little bit. Uh, I don't know, Fraps is really weird with this, but the other program I use can't pick up the game because it's a bit older, so I, I don't know. It's weird. So let's try and take on this fellow. Let's see if we can learn anything about him first. He's age 66, he's deranged, he's got minus morale for his people. Okay, that's good. He's a good defender, so we'll be playing into his hands by attacking him. He's lenient. Middle age, drunken lout, womanizer, cuckold, reverent, superstitious, favor of the gods. Uh. Okay, but he's got an evil mother-in-law, that's good. A wise man, a priest of Osiris, and a mentor. Okay, so he's going to be a four-star commander against our three, but I think Pictor actually has an attacking thing, doesn't he? No. Oh yes, yes he does. He's got a priest of Mars, and he's got a surgeon, so that's that's better than what I expected. I couldn't remember what I'd given him, so you know what? Hell with it. Let's let's go. Let's let's. Fortune favors the bold, and we'll have to face Oliti's Ptolemy as well. But I think we can do it. We just gotta fight smart. We gotta fight smart and fight careful. And if we do, we'll be okay. So let's do it. Hopefully Fraps doesn't crap itself in the middle of the recording, because that would be really, really unfortunate. But I think we'll fight this battle, and if it's still being a little bit wonky, I'll end the uh, recording session afterwards. Let's see what he has to say. I have won great renown through leading men to victory. I see no reason to change the habits of a lifetime today. The Pharaoh has sent his servants against us. Do not fear them. For they will be cut down by us, just like other men. We will kill them all. They have been led here by strutting fools and blustering morons. Quite literally, now actually. They will pay the price. There are a few more of them than there are of us. But so what? Yet, for all that, one of you is worth more than any number of them. Skills, valor, and honor still count for something in war. I have fought these men many times, and even now they must be praying to their false gods for mercy. They will have little enough of it from me. Huzzah! And remember this above all. Our Roman gods are watching. Make sure they are not ashamed! We don't know about your heathen idols, you barbarian scum. <laughs> our poor mercenaries probably just like, but what about our gods? They never praise our gods. Goddamn Romans. Alright, so this rock formation over here looks promising, except it doesn't because it's actually outside of the battlefield. Damn it, I was hoping I could use it to anchor a flank. I cannot. Okay, well, for us, it actually favors us to be on pretty much any ground, actually. We've got a fairly good, yeah, we're actually fairly well equipped to deal with the enemy on any ground. So this will be our first real large-scale battle with Roman troops, like uh, post-Marian Roman troops. Where is our eagle? Oh yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a good spot for the eagle. Alright, we'll uh, leave them on... I don't think they had any skirmishes. They might have, though. So let's put you off defensive. Let's put you on loose. And line you up in front of these fellows. Need our cavalry. Put them under the command of our secondary general. We'll change this to group three. Just for now. I'll change I'll change all of them in a minute, most likely. Okay, so you guys kind of stretch thin with this lot. I would have preferred a few more of these fellows. We'll just have to make do with what we got. You gentlemen. We'll make this lot group five. You can stay group four, you can be group three. So group three, line up like that. Might as well chuck your peeler. And group four. Sarmatians are anti-cavalry, aren't they? Uh, 
Oh, not Sarmatian, Sam Knights. Eh, sort of. They should do okay, though. They, they should be able to hold out. We'll give them the cavalry on their side as well. Because that'll help protect their flank. What the balls is that? I don't like him being out on the flank, though. Alright, and you just camp out behind all these guys. Okay, so they set up directly in front of us. That's not too bad, actually. Enemy reinforcements delayed. Excellent, good news! The enemy's reinforcements are either lost or they're not coming. I'm sincerely hoping for the not coming thing, because if they don't turn up, then we're all going to survive. Well, except for those of us who die. Yeah, perhaps is not perhaps is not liking this, not one bit. What? What? No, no, fuck's sake. I hate it when it does this. It just goes, no, that formation you had set up? No, nah, you didn't really want that. Not really. We know. We know you didn't. Yes, it did. There's a reason I set it up in that formation, you piece of shit. Alright. That'll give me a line to work off. You are on that side. Uh, you are on this side. But facing the other way, so you can actually fight. No, I don't want the Rome shell, damn it. I'm going to assume that they're going to run. Right, see how that looks a bit cleaned up? Yes, that's good. You guys stand out behind. Like so. We have condensed the line a little bit. That's alright. Okay. Better? Much. And where did our Velites end up? Oh, they're hanging out behind us. No, you guys need to get in front. Alright, everybody run. Okay, I think I fixed that clusterfuck of whatever the game decided that it was going to do. I don't like how it did that, but it does it way too often. It decides that you didn't really want the formation you chose. What you'd rather have is a complete and utter clusterfuck of people running everywhere. So hopefully these guys come and attack us, because I don't really feel like going forward. Looks like they're going to be obliging. I know we attacked and all, but still. I don't particularly feel like going forward. So do they actually have... Oh, they've got some skirmishes. Not very many, though, so we should be able to take them out before they close. Put everybody on fire at will. That cavalry might be looking to flank us. Sicilian skirmishes, if I remember correctly, are very, very bad at actual skirmishing. I don't know. We'll find out, I suppose. Now, are you coming from my Velites? If you are, I don't want my guys to shoot at you, because that's kind of wasting their ammunition for no real purpose. My general should be able to see these fellows off. I'm going to move this line of missile troops just a little bit back. Hello, Mashmoy Cavalry. Oh, good. They're already getting killed. Yeah, that's right. You stay away. Yeah, that, that's not really staying away. Alright, time to call our cavalry over. General, get in there. I'm okay with them wasting all their missiles on these guys. Oh, I don't like it when that happens. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Get back in line. You guys stay here. Perfect. I got rid of a lot of their cavalry. I'm okay with this. But what is shooting at me? I have no idea. Whoa, what the hell is that? Oh, really? Really? That was not your smartest move ever. Just as an FYI. I'm not entirely sure what the AI was thinking about that one. Whether it was thinking at all, because that was not a clever move to do. You've just, instead of actually using your Sicilian pirates to any good use, thrown them directly into my lines, and now they're going to die. Throw any unit of legionaries just to make sure they get the hell out of here quickly. We could probably throw the cavalry in at them, but I don't really want to. 
Alright, the second. Damn straight you're wavering. Get the fuck out of here. Go away. You're not welcome. This is my place. Go away. This is where my army comes and stands. Not you. Alright, get back in line. How many are left? 59. Not really worth chasing with these guys. Let our archery and slingers, etc., do some damage. Now, these guys will probably just camp out here until their reinforcements get to them, which is fine. They can do that. They, they can feel free to do so. So, I'm going to change the outcome of the battle, and I might even advance towards them just to kind of pressure them into doing something before their two armies connect. I don't think he actually has anything. I'm pretty sure he's just got. Um, Wait, where are their reinforcements? Down there, I think. I'm pretty sure that the reinforcements that they're actually getting are just um, a little bit of cavalry, maybe one unit of infantry. But I'm thinking what we might do is we will advance, because they don't really have any missile troops left. Those guys, I think, are still running. So yeah, you know what? Let's advance. Let us go forward. Good god, Fraps. Come on, man. There's not even that many people on the battlefield. Fraps just gets a little bit shitty sometimes. I've got plenty of disc space, so I don't know what it's doing this time. It just doesn't really want to work. Going, nah, I'm not really in this one, Bo. I'm not really in this one. I, d I don't really want to be in it. This is not my fight. Well, it's everyone's fight, perhaps. For Rome and the Republic. Uh, you can actually, yeah, yeah. Get behind like that. I might have to put them in front. You can line up like so. You can hang out behind them. Whoa, yeah, it's really clunking at the minute. I have no idea why. I haven't changed any of the settings. But for some reason, it just it's, it's not really interested. It doesn't really want to help out with this one. Hello, Persians, Barabara. Bara. How are you doing today? Good, I hope. Actually, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so hopefully Fraps will run a little bit better now. Apparently, the file size on the file that I was just doing went redonkulously huge. So I had to transfer over to one of my externals for the recording location. Hopefully, it'll be okay. So I'm going to record the rest of this battle, and then I'm going to end the session, because, Christ, I don't know what's going on with Fraps, but I think one of my settings got messed up. So, uh, let's continue. It seems to be running a bit smoother now, though. So, there's that. That's a positive. Persian Sparabara still coming towards us. You guys are broken, getting the hell out of dodge. I do not blame you. You guys should really be running. Probably. You. <laughs> I love how they just got there and then they're like, fuck this, we're out. We don't really want to be here. This is now fight. Typical. Okay, yeah, so it looks like a unit of infantry. And a few units of other guys. Which is okay. We can work with that. I want you guys to stop skirmishing though. Just get behind the line. Don't fire anymore. Just just go. Run. Move. Okay. They're not really gonna be throwing filler units at us anymore. This is their front line. So we want to throw all of our soldiers' pillar at it. So we want to kill these sons of bitches as quickly as possible. Come on, guys. Come on, get in on this. There you go. Nice. Kill these sons of bitches. Alright, so it might be time for our cavalry to move around the flank and hopefully snipe that general. We'll get rid of these Sicilians as we do so. And then hopefully we can quickly roll on round and snipe. If we can get the general, we should be able to break the rest of these guys. Hopefully. But our legionaries are very, very good as well, so we'll have the advantage there. 
charge. We need to eliminate them. If we're lucky, the general will start moving over this way. Unlucky. He's decided that he's not really into this one. He's not really in this uh, in this uh, fight. He doesn't really want to be here. Understandable. I do not blame him in the slightest. Now, can we get round? No. I don't think so. We might be able to just crush these guys. So you know what? Charge. Cover. Nope. Charge. Charge. And you guys get back out of there. Okay, they're not too pleased. Not massively happy about this whole state of affairs. These guys are wavering. Alright, don't, 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 don't complete that. We're doing pretty well though. We're doing fairly well. These guys are coming in. Presence Barabara. Those guys are broken. Get down this way. You two units fold in. So you attack them, you attack them. Oh, don't worry about it. Charge, charge, cavalry this way. So hopefully we can get those Pezoi on the flank. These guys will charge in. Those guys got attacked on the flank. Those guys are shaken. Those guys are kind of okay. These guys are not too fussed about it. This is alright. Alright, that's a lot of guys broken right there. Hello. Yes, attack. How the hell did you get those generals in there? I mean, like, how the hell did the Roman infantry manage to get in on that? I don't know, but I like it. Alright, turn. We can get these sons of bitches. Get around behind them, get around behind them. Attack. Enemy general is routing. Is it the right general though? Fear. Now he flees the field like a coward. Oh it is, actually, I think. Alright, you get out of there, you you follow him. Enemy king has been slaughtered. Oh nice. Hope he does not poison the carrion birds. Alright, you need to turn, you need to turn, 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 turn. Charge. Charge. Kill. Actually, no, kill. Turn, turn, turn. Go, 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 go. Come on. We have this. We have this battle, it's just how well we win it. Right now. Alright, there you go. And now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Turn and attack. You know what? Turn and charge. This is gonna hurt our cavalry, but the gods be praised. The enemy's hearts are full of fear, and now they go. flee. Alright. Now, you guys need to withdraw and stop firing. You need to get in here and kill. You are for some reason really, really steady, which I don't like. You need to charge them. You need to get ahead of the press that's running. You need to go that way. Okay, so I'm not sure how many men we're actually going to get back from this whole surgeon thing. I'm hoping that it's a lot. I think it'll depend on how well we crush these bastards, so let's make a real go of it, shall we? No, 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 get ahead of them. We need to kill as many as we possibly can. Although, actually, yeah, you go take out him. Where is the general himself? Alright, keep going. 
How are they doing? They're feeling kind of... They're probably feeling like, wavering. Perfect. You know what? You guys get in here and kill them. You kill them too. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Steady, dismayed by the loss of the battle. Yeah, that sounds about right. What are you doing? Kill them. Oh, nice. Good job. Finish killing them. Yeah, that unit's going to get away, but we can kill the rest of these guys. Oh, no, 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 no. We are killing all these sons of bitches. Soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. Yes, they are. They make so such lovely rabbits. Murder. And again. Good work. Get in there and murder. And that should be that. Done! You've crushed the enemy. How many men did we lose? We lost 11% of our men. But, we still have 2,535 left out of 2,749. So how many men did we get back? The Samnites got 57. The Aquila Legionaries got 45. Those guys got 21. So a lot of the units that took heavy casualties did get a fair few of their men back. So that's a thing. That's good. That's good. Alright, continue on. Now please don't crash because I tabbed out. Okay, cool. I like it. Victory, victory indeed. So we'll quick save there. I'll read these messages and then I'm going to... Heroic Savior? Cool. Enemy army routes. Perfect. Okay, so a lot of their cavalry got away, but that's alright. Oh yeah, you did perform a mission, didn't you? I thought I had more... Damn it! show me the thing. Oh, I do have more spies. It's just in a different spot. Okay, so that's 45% chance of opening that gate. I'm actually going to leave that town alone. Except I can't move out from it right now. Okay, in that case, I'm going to move all these spies over here. I'm going to see if we can't have the gates open. We can't. Damn it. Okay, well we can't move anyway, so we'll leave them there for this turn. If the gates open next turn, we'll take the city. If they don't, great. We'll move on. We can't move right now, and these guys, the Seleucid Juggernaut is coming straight for us. But we don't need to worry about that for now, because I do not want to keep recording on these settings, because I suspect there's something wrong with them. So I'm going to stop recording here, and be back when I've figured out what exactly is wrong with Fraps and why it's having a shit fit. So, until next time, this is Grey Hunter saying thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Toodaloo!